top down, feel like the sky closer. Never fix, you know, my life addictive. Club hard and wake up in the arms of a victim. Started with a dream and a half bounce. So high. Guys, what is up? Welcome to another episode of Maximilian Must Know. Back with some more sample shopping for you guys. I have 16 fragrances from Decan Shops, a lot of different types of fragrances, designer and niche. All of these are available at decanshop.com. Coupon code MAX12 will save you 12% of your entire order. Remember, you get exactly what you paid for when you use Decan Shop. So the fragrances are poured um, uh, before uh, they're put into bottles for you. You get exactly what you pay for, best prices, wonderfully curated collect uh, collection, and very fast shipping time. So use decanshop.com. Four fragrances to look at today different fragrances than uh, I've probably talked about in the past, but I think these four will all be fun to look at. So let's get right into it. First one from the House of Prada. This one is called La Femme Absolute. Now we know that Prada recently updated their men's and women's sort of main designer line, um, Infusion Dome, and all those became this um, uh, for men loam and for, for women La Femme. And this is La Femme Absolute. Um, from Prada, I own Poor Amber Home um, Intense Poppy, Infusion Dome, Luna Rosa, and Luna Rosa Extreme. I need to check out some of the scents from their higher end range because I don't think I've smelled any of those. And I'm probably going to at some point buy Amber Poor Home. I don't know if there's anything I want from this long line. We're going to check out one from that line later um, in, in another video. Um, another sample shopping video because I have one in this package sent to me from Decan Shop. But this is the feminine version of that line. This is a 2018 release from perfumer Daniela Andrie, who's the seems to be the Prada in-house nose at this point. And the notes on this are blood orange, peach, Jamaican chili pepper, orange blossom, neroli, immortal, broom, tolu balsam, and vanilla. And even if you find this one discounted, you're gonna pay about a hundred bucks. This is not a cheap fragrance. I believe retail it's 150. So designer prices are definitely sneaking up there. Um, and this is a really nice fragrance. It's a good female scent, very tart. Um, you can smell what smells like a sort of blood orange peach accord. I don't get anything that resembles chili pepper. There's orange blossom, there's neroli. I don't get really any, any immortal. There's some vanilla. It's just like a very a high quality, fruity, tart women's fragrance. Um, it leans very feminine. I think a, a guy could wear this if he wanted to, but I think this is um, more women better for women and it's kind of upscale it's nice like i don't i definitely think this is good there's some women that will wear this it'll smell great on them um it smells well made but it's sort of like everything else out there just better if that makes sense it's sort of that women's fruity fragrance uh, but just done better so not unbelievable but certainly good quality um the next one is really interesting this one is called bois de paradise and this is from a house called Parfum Del Rey, which is a San Francisco indie-based house that I don't know much about. But they've got like 10 fragrances. Um, I think they're all done by either Michael Ravniska or Jan Vasne. Um, this one is a Ravniska creation. And the notes on this are what really drew me to this one. You've got citruses, French rose, blackberry, fig, spice, amber woods, incense, and resins. Um, if you go to their website, it's $150 for 100 ml of EDP. So again, not cheap, but sort of indie pricing. Um, and this is really very nice. This is sort of a, um, a fruity rose, I would say. A little woody. It's got a tropical vibe to it, but not like a creamy white floral tropical vibe almost like a tropical rose scent. You get the blackberry in here, you get the fig. Um, it's just really nice. It sort of smells like a, I don't know, like a really nice, I mean, the name I believe means wood of paradise, paradise wood, and it just has that sort of vacation-y vibe, but in a darker way, like the rose is dark, it's got a nice, very nice fruit accord, almost like a red winey type thing. Really good. Again, I think it's more for women 
I think, but I think it's excellent. Uh, it's it's a really good women's fragrance. If I was a woman, I would I would wear this. I would I would definitely wear this and probably buy it. It's really good. If you like um, sort of berry, fruity, darker scents, then I would definitely give this one a look. Next one is is um, Apom Um by Mason Francis Curtis Hahn. Cur Curtis Hahn. Um, and um, I actually have an 11 ml of this in the MFK bottle because I got this in the men's co-fret set, which um, I bought at Burger of Goodman a few years ago. Um, and I had pretty mixed emotions on this brand. You know, I, I love the work of Francis Curtis Uh I want to purchase full bottles of Amorous Perone and the original Oud from this brand. Um, and I have both of those. I have, um, you know, the Cofret sized bottles. And there are many scents I need to try from the brand Grand Soir, the Extrates, the Gentle Fluidity scents. Uh, but I, sometimes I feel like his best work is done for other houses, but that's me. Um, if you're interested in Apom, it's $215 for a 70 ml. And the Cofret sets are $215 for eight. 11 ml fragrances. Now the notes on Apom, which means a piece of me, are African orange flower, amber, and Virginia cedar. cedar. So it's a very simple note breakdown. Um, and it's, look, this is a good quality, a good quality fragrance. It's sort of got that Mason, you know, that Francis Curtis on simplicity. His own line, the fragrances are very simple. And this is really just about, this is a men's orange flower. Um, fragrance. That's really it. Uh, I don't really get Virginia. I don't get cedar here. Uh, and yes, there's some vanilla -y amber, but really it's just about that creamy orange flower. And he also did Fleur de Mal for Jean Paul Gaultier, and that's different than this, but they both have that orange flower note. Um, I mean, this is pretty good. I have to be honest with you. I don't think I'd buy this, but it's really nice. It's just creamy and sort of bright, uh, a little bit like a creamsicle, but not as sweet, more creamy, just very um, cozy, Co almost like cashmere and like, and it's coziness and sort of muskiness and it's a really nice scent. Again, I don't think I'd buy it, but I, the more I kind of smell it, the more I like it. Um, I didn't really, you know, I, I haven't worn much of the 11 ml that I have, but I might have to because it's it's pretty freaking good. Um, all right, and then we're gonna finish this week with one from the house of Garamond. This is Le Ur Bleu, and. Um, you know, Guerlain is a house that I'm just trying to go through everything I can from them. I just, the more I smell from them, the more I continue to just love Guerlain's fragrances. Um, I know that I want bottles of Vetiver and Shalimar, and I know that there's so much else that I, I want to try. Basically, anything they make that I haven't tried, I want to try. Um, you know, from the new Aqua Allegoria scents to everything in the Arts and Materials collection, the new leather one they just came out with. This is an oldie. This was done by Jacques Guerlain in 1912, and it has notes of anise, bergamot, and roly rose, tuberose, carnation, tonka bean, benzoin, vanilla, violet, and iris. This is the EDT, and you can find this online for like $25. So, whoa, it's cheap. $40 or so for the EDP. So again, no matter which way you go, really affordable. And this is fucking spectacular. Now again, um, I think this is for better for a woman, so I don't think I'd buy this. But my God, it really smells like baby blue. That's the best way I can describe it. The color baby blue. It's just got this gorgeous iris with like hints of anise and it sort of just smells like cotton and like like fresh baby <laughs> that sounds so weird and horrible but like you know what i'm saying like soft baby skin almost and iris and cotton and it's just so light and effervescent and almost 
wispy and just clean and and god damn it it's i might just have to have it just to have it and, and just maybe spray it on after a shower there's something so comfortable about it and the iris here is just so like almost floating it's that light it's just i've never smelled an iris like this I, this is so good it's scary I really like this. You have to check Lure Blue out if you like Iris. All right, so that is sort of my take on these. If I'm rating these, I think you guys can figure this out. Lure Blue far and away number one. Because uh, I'm a dude, I'm going to go Apom 2. Um, the uh, the um, <laughs> Boada Paradise 3 and Prada 4. I will probably wind up buying Lure Blue. Maybe one day a palm. Who knows? I doubt it. I like it. I just don't think I like it enough to pay Mason Francis Cartesian price. And the other two, I think if you're a woman and you watch these, you might want to check them both out. Pro maybe not the Prada, but definitely uh, Boada Paradise because that's really good. All right, guys. I'm going to see you in a couple weeks with the next round. Next up, we're next round, we're going to take a look at something from Dior Privé. Another from Guerlain, something from the House of Cremo, you know, the Target Shave House, and something from the House of Ralph Lauren. So Dior, Privé, uh, Guerlain, Cremo, and Ralph Lauren next, next time up. Again, decanshop.com, coupon code MAX12 to give these all a go. I will see you again real soon with more videos. My name, obviously, is my dogs and them dark things oh. Fantasizing about Nikki and a G-string uh. Never losing, uh -huh. winning It's a state of mind yeah. Just remember if I shine, you shine, I shine.